Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right guys, so I think it's about time I took a look at the Hellbent Holsters 3.0 wallet. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so here it is, the Hellbent Holsters 3.0 wallet in red. So let me put this down real quick, I'm going to start talking about that in a second. But I'm going to be giving this one away, this is the 2.5 combat wallet in carbon fiber. I'm going to be giving this one away with this anodized titanium American flag money clip. So I'm going to be giving both of these away at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can win these two bad boys right here. All right, so let's get back to the 3.0 wallet here. So as you can see, it's a clamshell style wallet and it's all constructed of billet aluminum. So being made of aluminum, it's naturally RFID protected. So if you're worried about anyone skimming your cards, don't worry, they should be safe in this wallet. So the 3.0 wallets come in two different sizes, a medium and a large. This one just so happens to be the medium. So according to the website, they say the medium holds five to eight cards and the large holds nine to 12 cards. So I'll be testing the card capacity of this wallet wallet shortly. So as you turn it to the back side here, you can see these two little adjustable retention screws. They do give you a little Allen wrench right here. So if you want to adjust these screws to make it tighter, or you can make this looser depending on how many cards you have in here. Now right above these retention screws here, you can see this little slot. Now that's the slot for your money clip. Now I have the carbon fiber money clip here. So if you want to carry cash with this wallet, all you do is just slip that right into the slot. And there you go. Now every single Hellbent wallet comes with a skid plate. Now what do you do with this skid plate? Well it's basically to help you get the cash in and out of this money clip a little easier. But I'll go over that a little later in the video too. Now all Hellbent wallets are made right here in the USA in Kentucky. Now all 3.0 wallets either come in red, blue, black, or there's a stone wash which is just basically a raw looking aluminum. Alright so let's talk about some specs here. The Hellbent 3.0 measures in at just a little bit over 4 inches by 2 and 3 quarters inches and is about a half inch thick. So let's see how much this thing weighs here. Let's take off the money clip and all right, so it comes in at 2.6 inches without the carbon fiber money clip on it. All right, so let's start talking about this. I've been carrying this on and off for the last couple weeks since I received it. Yes, there's a lot to love about this wallet and there's a couple little dislikes that I don't like. So let's talk about what I do like. So it's super easy to get cards in and out of this wallet. Plus the shape of it makes it very easy for me to take this in and out of my pocket. Now, as you can see here, there's no real sharp edges that'll get stuck or caught on my pocket as I'm taking it out. Having that clamshell design really works in its favor. Also, just look at this thing. This thing looks like it's bulletproof. Uh, if there was a nuclear war, you can probably drop a bomb on this thing and it wouldn't even dent it. That's just how rugged and sturdy it feels. Also, I really love the red color on this, but if I zoom in a little bit or get closer to the camera look at that can you see that that's that stone washed aluminum but it looks already pre-distressed it just looks really cool almost like it's already used right out of the box even though it's brand new it just has that look to it i love it also i didn't mention right there in the corner they have the hellbent logo with the bull that's a nice touch all right so what don't i like about it well i basically have to get to how the cards work in this wallet to show you what i don't like so let's start doing that right now so they say this one holds five to eight cards being a medium. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So what you wanna do is start loading your cards through that little slot. So that's one, two, three, four. So there's four cards right there. So you can see if the cards get stuck in this little gap here, I usually just hit it against my palm and they straighten right out. That's five, six, Seven. Now seven cards is the maximum amount of cards that I carry at all times. And as you can see, that's pretty much perfect for this medium wallet. It's not sticking up at all. You can see, I gotta lift it up to show you, see? That's how you would get them out, but it's not lifting up at all. It's actually sealed pretty perfectly. So if I try to get that eighth card in there, so it slips in there like that. And yeah, it still seals up pretty nicely. So their eight cards is right on the money. So let me try to get one more card in there. So this is nine cards. So there you go, I got nine cards in the 3.0 wallet. And as you can see, it's starting to separate a little bit. And these are my demo cards, okay? They are pretty thick as demo cards. I do have cards that are thicker and thinner than this, but I would never do that because I don't like it when it's open like this. I don't like that gap. If I hit it hard enough, will it come out? Well, no, nope. 
won't come out. I can drop the wallet instead. How's that? So I really like the functionality of this Hellbent wallet. So if you want to get a card out, you just fan through them like this. So say, for example, I want that card right there. I just grab it, put the cards right back in the wallet. Or if I don't want to put that card on top, I just take it back out, fan to where I want it, and slip it back in there as so. And then boom. There you go. So how does this work so well? Well, it's the design of this top plate. See how it's angled right here? So the cards, once pushed, just naturally wanna slide around the wallet. But, closed like this, they don't go anywhere. So I really like the design here. It's really functional. If I wanna get cards out of the middle or the back, it's super easy. Now let's talk about that dislike. So sometimes, when I'm thumbing through it and have to put my cards back in, like this, this is what I don't like, how they always get stuck in that clamshell. That's why I have to either bang it against my palm here to get them to readjust, or sometimes they just go back in perfectly. But that's the only downside I see to this wallet. Is that a deal breaker? Not at all. But if I did have a dislike, that would be it. All right, so they say the minimum you can carry in this wallet is five. So let's take a few of these out. All right, so I took a few cards out. There's five cards in this wallet right now. So yeah, it's gonna rattle around a little bit to be expected. Um, that might be another negative for you if you only carry you know, four or five or six cards. It might make a little bit of noise in your pocket. So in that case, you might wanna carry a few dummy cards in there just so you don't hear the rattling around. But I just still got a few more cards. There's only one left in there. So I know a lot of you guys only carry one or two cards and I always wonder what happens if you only carry one well <laughs> once again you're gonna have that rattling problem um, not gonna fall out okay not gonna fall out but you can easily just take this in and out just as easy as you can with those five to eight cards I just showed you. But with only one card, look at all that space in there, that's crazy. So I wouldn't really recommend this wallet if you carried under five cards. But you see how much tension I have on this? I can only open it to about right there. If I want to adjust that, I just make them a little bit tighter and then it won't open up as far. Or I can make it looser if I wanna get those cards out easier. I wouldn't make it too loose, then cards might start falling out on you. But if it's too tight, you might not be able to get the cards out at all. All right, so what if you're a cash carrier? So that's where the money clip comes in. So as I showed you before, you just slide it right in that little slot and snaps right in. Then they give you this little skid plate here. So right here, I have eight bills folded into thirds. If you don't wanna use a skid plate, you don't have to. It just makes it easier. Just lift up on it and there you go. But if you do want to use that skid plate and take that back out, you put the skid plate on top of your cash as so, and then just slide everything right into place. And then this way, nobody can peep out your bills, suckers. So this wall only being a half inch thick, of course, if you use that money clip, it's gonna make it a lot thicker in your pocket. And like I said, that's eight builds folded in the thirds. I got that skid plate. And then I still got a ton more room under this money clip. So it looks like if you're a cash carrier, this is a pretty good solution. Now, what if you don't feel like using this included skid plate? You want something more heavy duty? Well, they do sell these anodized aluminum skid plates. So you take that out, let's replace everything. Put the red anodized aluminum skid plates on top and then just slide it into position. So this way, kind of matches your wallet. That's pretty badass. So they don't include these anodized aluminum skid plates. They are an extra cost. This one right here is about $15.99 if you go to the website, check them out. Now I had this carbon fiber money clip on there because I just like how the red and black look together. But I also have two other titanium money clips here to show you. you. Got this blue. Then I have this stonewashed American flag in titanium. Check it out. That's what the red 3.0 wallet looks like with the stonewashed American flag money clip. That's awesome. And then check this out. If you guys want that Spider-Man look, look no further. You got that blue titanium money clip with the red 3.0 wallet. That is awesome. Also, if you guys don't want to carry your wallet for a day, you can also just use this as a money clip. There you go, it just doubles as a normal money clip. That's pretty awesome. And then check it out, if you wanna carry a few cards, just go extremely minimal for that day, you can do that too. So I think if you're picking up the 3.0 wallet, it just makes sense to grab one of these money clips because they're so versatile. You can just use it solo as I just showed you or use it on the back of your wallet. It's pretty versatile. So if you guys didn't like the money clips that I showed you, head over to the website under money clips. There's a ton of different types of clips that they have here. A bunch of different Star Wars. There's the Hulk, some different colors. Um, there's a couple of different pages too. So page two, check these out. You got the Punisher, a couple different money, or sorry, Couple different American flags, Texas flags, we the people. 
I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of different choices. From what I've seen, they range from $29.99 to $59.99 for these titanium money clips. Also, go check out their wallet section in under 3.0. So you got the red wallet that I showed you, the blue, there's the black, there's the stone wash, and there's the uh, chain wallet in uh, stone wash. That looks awesome. So the red 3.0 wallet is $109.99 for the medium and $129.99 for the large. You can see the different prices here for the blue, $109.99 to $124.99. And the least expensive of them all is the stone wash at $99.99 and the large is $109.99. And if you guys really want to live dangerously, check out this Patina wallet here. $179.99 to $229.98, it's limited. So I'm not sure how limited this wallet is, but check this thing out. That thing looks great. So if you guys have the cash and like these Hellbent wallets, go check out this Patina wallet here. All right, so like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna be giving away this bad boy right here. It's the Hellbent 2.5 combat wallet in carbon fiber, and then the titanium anodized American flag money clip here. So if you've been watching my videos for a little bit, you're gonna know exactly what to do to win these. First off, be subscribed. Second of all, like this video. Third, comment on this video. That's all you have to do. Once I hit 200 comments, I'll be giving these bad boys away to a lucky winner. Also, just a reminder that my last giveaway, the Key Bar Stonewashed Aluminum, is still going on. So I need about 198 more comments or 195 more comments to give this guy away. So I'll put a link to this video in my description too if you guys wanna win this guy. Um, I'm pretty far away from giving this away. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Hellbent Holsters 3.0 wallet? Honestly, I don't know what took me so long to check this out. Uh, I like the design of it. It has that tactical design to it, even though it is an EDC wallet. I like their cash carrying solution on it. I like that you can remove the money clip if you're not using it and then use this as an actual money clip. I will put links in my description box to the Hellbent Holsters website so you can check these out for yourself, the wallets and the money clips. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!